What's up, my beautiful Dreamfasters? It's Danny Gallows, of course, who'd you think it was? And welcome back to another one of my latest, greatest movie reviews. So, this weekend, I was finally able to see Roland Emmerich's latest disaster piece, Moonfall. And, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty excited to see this movie. I mean, we all know what we're getting into, right? It's the same guy who made 2012, The Day After Tomorrow, Independence Day, those kind of films. So, we all know what we're getting into. They're not winning any awards, but they're still epic and super fun to watch. So, when I saw the trailers for this film initially, I was kind of excited about it. I was like, oh yeah, this looks really cool. This looks like, looks like a really great film. Can't wait to go see it. But unfortunately, for this particular movie, I was wrong. Now, a lot of people have always hated on Roland Emmerich, and honestly, I've never really understood this. The guy is not making great films, so I think we can all agree on that, but they're always really creative and super fun and definitely a blast to go experience, right? I mean, this is the guy who made, you know, uh, Eight-Legged Freaks, 1998's Godzilla, Independence Day, and Stargate. A lot of people forget that. That's right guys, Stargate, one of the best sci-fi movies ever made. That was Roland Emmerich. So I mean, he has it in him to make super awesome films, right? Like a lot of the films that you've made in the past, but unfortunately, as he's getting into his later years, he's really tapered off. One thing I really did enjoy about this film is the conspiracy theory aspect, and he does this in a lot of his movies. He takes these conspiracy theories and he kind of sews them into the storyline, and that's what drives the entire story. And, you know, I'm somewhat of a closet conspiracy theorist myself, so I love to see that in movies because it always grabs my attention. I love that underlying notion that's going on, right? Those, those, uh, the shadow organizations, someone that might be doing this in secret or some kind of universal code that nobody knows about that's always driving these storylines. And I love that because there's a lot of that in this film. So somehow, even as bad as the film is, it always retains your attention with those conspiracy theories. But unfortunately, in this particular movie, it's just not enough because the rest of the movie, the rest of everything in the movie, is just completely bland. Yeah, I'm sad to say, guys, this seems to be just a cash grab for Roland Emmerich. I mean, the dude has got bills to pay, just like everyone else, so he kind of sneezed this movie out into the movie theater just to get another Roland Emmerich disaster movie out there, and that's all it was, you know? This movie reminded me a lot of Geostorm, because it just has no substance to it. You know, Geostorm was another film that I was trying to like. It's kind of a cool film, kind of, and I'm, I was trying to like it, but I just couldn't get into it because there was no substance to everything, and everything was just so bland and vanilla and uninteresting, and the pacing was weird, and I didn't like any of the characters or the acting. That's how this movie feels, right? It feels very similar to that. It almost comes off as like, um, kind of like a bad sci-fi channel movie. Or just a sci-fi channel movie. And unfortunately, that's exactly what we have here in this film. There just simply isn't enough creativity or imagination to carry this film all the way through. I mean, you know, it's just kind of a random collection of sequences that just kind of happen and there's no weight or purpose or substance to anything. Things just happen until you get to the end of the film. And the last half hour of the film, I will say, is pretty epic. You know, the last like 45 minutes, half hour of the film, all these big epic action sequences start happen, happening and a lot of them are really good. They are very well executed action sequences, but the problem is, as epic as they are, they're at the end of the film, or towards the end of the film, so by that time it's too late. You don't care about any of the characters, you don't care about any of the situations anymore. You don't really care about anything that's happening on screen because you need to care for people. You need to have some kind of a connection with the storyline or the plot or the characters to be able to care when those epic sequences start happening at the end, and unfortunately you just didn't have any of that. So as epic as those scenes were, you know, yeah. Ah. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. You know, this film is just basically the next Roland Emmerich film, right? It's not great, it's not entertaining, it's not particularly exciting until, like, the end of the movie, really. It's completely forgettable. 
and that's really unfortunate because I really wanted to have a lot of fun with this movie. So now comes the time where I have to actually grade this thing. And guess what guys, I've got a brand new grading system that I'm going to introduce on this channel. Uh, you know, instead of the 0 to 100%, because the 0 to 100% is kind of generic, everybody does it. I want to do something more creative on this channel, so I'm going to initiate the karate belt color grading system. Uh, and everybody knows the karate belt colors, right? You have white, yellow, orange, which is low, you have purple, blue, green, which is medium, and then you have brown, red, and black, which is high. So that's going to be my new grading system from now on. So what am I going to give Roland Emmerich's later, latest disaster piece, Moonfall? Um, I'm going to go with a purple belt. Yeah, I mean, aside from the last half hour of the movie, which has some really great action sequences, there is just nothing to see here. This is a completely forgettable film that was kind of just thrown together. It feels very random and rushed and has a lot of pacing issues and you know, like I said, no substance, very vanilla film. So Purple Belt is as good as I can get it for this film. And I mean, come on, Roland, you got to have one more super creative, fun film in, in you, uh, you know, at, at, at some point. Stop sneezing films into existence, man, you know, because you can do this. You are capable of making really cool movies. And I hope we really, you know, I really hope we see that again. Alright my friends, well now comes the best part of the video where I turn it over to all of you. So let me know, what did you guys think? Have you seen Moonfall yet? And if so, did you love the movie? Did you hate the movie? And what did you love or hate about it? Leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the great white void. And let's get discussing this uh, sneeze of a Roland Emmerich movie. As always, until next we meet guys, take care. And I'll see you guys back here for the next video very soon. Peace.